at a lot of truth. We're not going to focus so much on the lies. Because when we focus on the truth, the truth will set us free. It didn't say you need to understand the lie. It didn't even say, well, you got to understand where the lie comes from. No, you just had to know the truth because the truth will set you free. I'm going to tell you something. You have either had the experience of being taken and lifted down into the ceiling, or you've been somebody who's done that for somebody. I want to speak to whoever it is. Whatever, whatever side it is, especially the one who's been sick, you will be healed. Take up your bed and walk. Because out of walking will come forth praise and worship. in your life Whew. you could call her that oh, would you? <laughs> every day it's the same thing hardy do this hardy do that blah 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 I'm like woman can you not see him about my father's business if you have ever felt objectified if you have ever felt like people look at your physical appearance and expect things of you physically, but people don't really see the heart that God has put inside of you, I want you to stand up. Men, take a look around the room. This, there is a, there is a side of God that we are shutting down the Lord is surrounding us. Not only is he surrounding us to protect us, our physical bodies, but he's protecting that thing that he placed inside of us. He's protecting that identity, and he wars against those lies. He's warring against lies that are surrounding us. So that's how we're going to fight. A week prior to this, I had my plan out. I knew how I was going to go about my suicide. And this kid somehow gets me to go to this youth event. As soon as he laid his hand on me, there was a physical weight that was lifted off of my body. Like, I don't know how to explain it to you, but like, my legs felt like jello. I felt like I was just floating in the presence of God and something holy. I didn't know what it was at the time, but I was just like, everything that I was on that night completely vanished. Yeah. And I was filled with something pure. The plan he has for me is far better than any plan that I could ever come up with myself. And I began trusting that his plan is better and that I need to trust that it's better. Even though I wanted what I thought was good. If you're in this room and you think you're worthless, that you have no value, that you're done, that you're finished, you're so worth it. You're so worth it. God loves you. identity is do you want to know who you are here is the key it's not seeking what your identity is it's seeking who is jesus the christ 
See, we have this whole thing reversed. We think that if we know our purpose, we'll understand Jesus better. But that's not the way it works. We understand Jesus. And as we press in and Jesus reveals himself to us through a revelation, then we will understand our purpose because then Jesus speaks it into us. When you eventually start to participate in ministry on a regular basis, it becomes easy to only prepare for the moments that you're doing ministry, and you don't spend the personal time That's investing good. in just you and God. And you have to remember to take those times where it's like, I'm not preparing to speak to anybody. I'm not preparing to That's give. Really I'm, this is just us time. It was, we have our hope in Jesus Christ. He will never leave us or forsake us. He will always, he'll, he'll never, ever um, abandon us. God is, God is just as honored as me serving somebody Delhi am than he is when I'm standing up here leading people into the presence of the Lord because I'm doing his will. He wants to make a covenant with you. What that means is, I will be his and he will be mine. The God of the universe. What sin, what temptation, what fear would cause me to leave that covenant relationship with him and walk in my flesh? I've had some failures that would make the captain of the Titanic feel a little better about himself. I am the church. You are the church. 